Kim Pasco from Orange Pixel and I think I got myself into a little bit of a problem for this week's video. I, right now as I'm recording this it's Tuesday and normally I record my videos on a Friday and then I edit it and then it's ready for next Thursday. However I had the idea just like one and a half hour ago I had the idea to create a new a week vlog where I record little bits and pieces throughout my week. It's now Tuesday, I would start on Tuesday, record the things I do on Tuesday and then the rest of the video will be Wednesday, Thursday, a little bit of Friday and then it's done. However, hang on. I just finished editing the part that we would call Tuesday and I noticed that um, this whole bar, this video is already at like 13 or 14 minutes. There's no way I'm gonna fit the other days in this video. I guess this is just one of those Tuesdays and I might just have called and named this video Tuesday because this is my Tuesday. I just had a couple of tiny ideas and I figured that would be a nice start of the video. I now created a whole video. Um, you're just gonna enjoy it, hope. You're just gonna enjoy it. Now I hope you'll enjoy it uh, after the intro. A uh, bunch of things done, a bunch of interesting things, so um, that's it. There's no other days in the week. I might just make another couple of videos on Wednesday and Thursday and then spread them out throughout the next few weeks. But sometimes these things happen. I just had too much stuff for this video on a Tuesday. So um, enjoy Tuesday after the intro. It's Tuesday right now as I'm recording this. I um, just now decided to do a week vlog. So this is Tuesday. I probably will be recording something before this, which you just uh, saw, I guess. For me, it's now Tuesday. Um, couldn't really get into things with regular city, with the, the game code and stuff. Um, didn't really write down anything on Friday. I was very busy with uh, putting up the demo. You can now actually go on Steam, uh, check the link below in the description and play the demo. It's the latest version available, um, or at least at the time of recording, it's the latest version. Uh, version double double 36, yeah. Latest version, all the new stuff. Uh, really spur of the moment kind of thing, made it live and available on Steam. Uh, mentioned it on the Discord and did some tweets about it and we'll see. I figured there was a demo there already, a little bit hidden, but it was there. But it was a very old demo and we are so much further with this game and it's so much better than that demo was. I needed something fresh there and players can uh, just check it out now, see what the game is about and hopefully wishlist it and become interested in the game and join the Discord and all that. Uh, the next step for that but because I couldn't really get into coding today, I figured I should also update the Steam page completely. Uh, the thing that was there was also uh, probably the first stuff I typed out as I created the Steam page. So that's like more than a year ago. I might have changed a GIF or two and maybe some lines of text, but it was pretty much dated and I have a much clearer vision now of what the game has, is gonna be and has to be. So figured let's update all that stuff and new text new images and did some article reading to see what best practice people generally think should be done on steam pages of course there are many different things you should and could and might want to do but don't have to because there are other things and things you might want to do or should do nobody really knows but i think i came up with a pretty cool steam page. let me just show you what i've been doing today this is just today, I um, might still tweak it, so by the time this video is live or by the end of the week, it might be different, but for now, let's uh, let's let's browse through it. All right, so um, I added a couple of extra videos. This now also contains a smaller version of last week's vlog where I talk about all the stuff that's been added to the game. I added a little video that shows uh, the dodge moves that are in the game, which is just very short, but pretty cool. I'm gonna be adding more videos here, I think I can just show more in these videos and not just the static uh, screenshots and all that stuff. So um, this is new, let's stop the, for a bit. I also updated the text that's been shown here. This is probably one of the things that people actually read. Uh, the rest of the page they might ignore completely, but this is what they're gonna read. So I figured, and what I read from other articles, which makes sense is, uh, 
really get to the core of what this game is about. So a top-down roguelike shooter where you are backed by a team of NPCs and use your skills and superpower abilities to stop an alien substance from taking over the city. Complete missions, upgrade skills and regulate the city. It pretty much sort of kind of describes exactly almost like pretty much what the game is about or at least hopefully the people that like top-down roguelike shooters will be now wanting to check out more and there is more uh, the demo is back like i said download regular city demo right now linux and windows version um this is a new shot i just added it didn't say download now and i added that to the image so download this is the first thing you see if you miss that button this one for now stays here until i upload a new devlog thingy so that's pretty cool then i have this portion uh, join the community where we can quickly link to stuff seen other people do it um i kind of like it although it makes about the game uh, lower on the page but yeah i think this is what you want as prior do you want people to read about the game and buy it but the game isn't to be bought yet but since i'm still working on the game i figured that it's more interesting to have people come and connect with me so that yeah by the way i just noticed i have regulatedcity.com i forgot i had that domain name pretty cool of me i actually registered i should do more with that i forgot i registered the domain name regulatedcity.com why ah regulatedcity.com I, yeah i should make a point to the game page and cool to know all right um about the game this is now also more to the point of what this game really is so a top-down roguelike where you do not play as a single character but you have an ai control team supporting your every move you lead the way but you can hang back as your team takes out the various bad elements in the city i try to go to the thing that really makes this game unique and that's having that whole team around you it's not a top-down shooter where you are alone against millions of bullets you actually have a team helping you out so i just created this little gif that shows a bit of what i, I might change this but it shows that the team does things and it's hard to show in a video but hopefully it does i don't know i might do another gif at some point then we just explain a little bit of the story and the world that the game plays in so that you know the context and hopefully that also attracts people and then so come lead your team to regulate city and control the ooze this is all uh, bef above the fold so to speak so you have to click read more this is what people really will notice and read and if they are interested by this, they might click on read more. And I made, made it possible to sneak this thing in there. One of the features, your team is your weapon. I think and I hope that really tickles people's interest to click more and see what it's all about. And then of course we have shaping the city and then we have superpowers, which are just the main features that make this game unique and not it has pixel art, it has retro gameplay, it's a roguelike, that's pretty generic these things are very um, original i think to a game like this so i hope other people will agree and will actually get interested because of this so i uh, hear a little gif of the of one of the super abilities just created this one as well uh, for now it works might do another one not sure yet um, and then a banner where you can click on to join the discord give you some information on what's there and what you can join and be part of and a little uh, ending gif just as a bonus i think the page is now a lot better and clearer than what it was um, having that art over here and then having this banner over here i might have another banner here and there but i don't want to put too much images there there's already screenshots and gifs videos for now for today i think this was pretty productive um, i'm gonna jump into the code right now there's still a bunch of little things that need fixing and, and changing but i just wanted this team page up and ready to go because i i'm starting to get in that window where i really have to attract players and really have to convince them about the game but maybe also convince kickstarter backers or maybe some funding or publishers whatever it now all has to be there not just a game but also all the stuff around it it's now 2 p.m and um, this all had to be done it's part of my job as well but let's dive into some code work now So I'm trying to implement, sorry for the shaky camera stuff, trying to implement um, a time limit. This is a modifier for the missions, talked about that last week, I think. Um, the time limit is, is now implemented. The big problem now that I'm facing is 
uh, how do I figure out the time that's required to complete a mission? Every level is different. Um, don't want to give you a five minutes for a very tiny level that you can do in 20 seconds. Don't want to give you one minute for a big level that you really should take your time in and need like five minutes to take out all the enemies in a safe way. So um, I need to come up with an idea to base the time amount you get on... Right now I'm thinking the size of the level um, and the amount of enemies. So for like every used tile in the map will give you two or three seconds. Then for every enemy that spawns in the level will give you five or 10 seconds. And then we'll add a couple of seconds just as a bonus. And then I'll have to uh, give that a couple of tries and see where it ends up. I don't know. Right now I'm just giving 30 seconds and I can't do big levels in 30 seconds. And if I can't do it, a new player will not be able to do it either. So I'll just have to come up with a little math that just kind of seems to work every time. Pretty much. And then in the favor of the player. So there's always a little bit of extra time and a little bit of extra seconds. So you can do other things in a level that I don't want you to do, but you still want to do them. You'll get a little bit of extra time. That's what I'm going to do now. Just calculate the size of the map and then the amount of enemies plus a little bonus. And then we're just going to try it in the next coming games or next coming play sessions and just see um, how it works out pretty much. But we actually added something to the game now. So I'm actually working now and not just doing Steam pages. I think I now have something that hopefully works. What I do here is at the end of creating the indoor world, so pretty much loading the level, we check if there's a time limit modification going on and if that's true, we simply uh, take the size of the map, so the physical size of the current building, not the whole map size, just what's used. Give it three seconds uh, per thing. And let's just write it a little bit better. And then I also check all the entities and for every enemy or human enemy in the game, you get five seconds. Then we check for special items, which are key cards or um, things requiring um, you to pause the game and stand there for a little bit. For all those type of things, you get five seconds. And then we have different type of doors that usually need you to go back and forth between like pressing a button to open the door or finding a key card and using it and bring it to the door. So we'll add a couple of extra seconds for them as well. And hopefully we'll end up with a better time limit. I'm now gonna do a couple of test runs and see what we got. So uh, let me record the screen for that and um, Let's see where the time limit ends and let's see how close this comes to making it actually uh, possible to complete a mission. Okay, so that's pretty cool. This time seems to be a lot better. We actually had to take the full level size and then divide it. Um, it's pretty much, we needed a base point or starting point to start working on some sort of math for this. This seems to be working. I'll just have to do a lot more test runs and also later levels where enemies are a lot stronger and harder to kill. So there might still be some tweaking required, but for now, this works. And that's it for this week's video, I guess. This was Tuesday, in case you didn't notice yet. Um, do let me know what you think about one, uh, the Steam page. Check it out. And of course, check out the demo of the game. Come talk about the game on the Discord and all that lovely stuff. And um, let me know what you think about a video like this. This was pretty much, well, by accident, I created this whole video on a Tuesday. I just wanted to show you a little bit of it. And then, well, uh, it's weird, but I think it turned out as an interesting video showing you a bit of stuff that I do 
day to day working on games and um, yeah that that's pretty much it just doing a bunch of things and tweaking numbers until eventually it looks okay and then we'll ship it and hope that the players also feel that it's okay there are no rules or laws to things like this it's just trying a bunch of things and what works works and then move on to the next problem or thing you want to create and that's game development um like subscribe comment below all that juicy stuff and i will see you next week and i think like only a couple of videos left and then i have to really make that end of video end of year video let me know what you want to hear in this year's recap um i usually talk about finances business stuff and how things went and all the projects done and all the things that failed and all that stuff uh, but let me know if you want me to cover specific things in this year's end of video review and who knows i might be able to squeeze it all in well, uh, thanks for watching see you next week bye Thank you.